up wedding nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for attack on titan chapter 87 and as part of the nerdigans inc expansion something i started to do last um week is i'm starting to have a weekly manga nerdigan podcast where all of us as manga fans get together and talk about the previous week's manga chapters like what we thought of them uh theories on upcoming chapters and all that and I have the Google Hangout available so um, it's not just me talking you get you guys get to be a part of it too and um, I'm experimenting with the time so this week it's gonna be at um, at 11 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 8 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time it's gonna be this Saturday it's gonna be really fun and it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot to talk about because a comic Akira came out this week obviously Attack on Titan came out this week and um, Awari no Seraph came out this week, aka Seraph of the End. So I can't wait to see you guys. It's going to be this Saturday at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So anyway, now let's get on with the live reaction. So last chapter of Attack on Titan, we found out basically what was going on before the walls um, came up. And um, it was really interesting to see, and I'm guessing this is this happened even before the events of Attack on Titan before the fall. And I something that I hope happens, and I hope you nerdigans ha have been reading Attack on Titan before the fall. I hope that um that this gets incorporated um into the events of Attack on Titan before the fall, like this gets referenced, because um and I'm just curious if um. And the reason why I'm bringing up Attack on Time before the fall, I'm wondering if the Titan worshippers have um, a connection to um, to the to um, what's going on here, so, because it would make a lot of sense to me. It really would. So we found out that Zeke is fucking crazy as shit. Zeke killed his own mother last chapter, which is fucking crazy, and that Aaron's father. It has been alive for like thousands of years. So one, and this, I asked this last um, chapter, one has to ask, how long does a Titan live, or a Titan shifter live? You gotta, you gotta ask yourself this, and this is important to me especially because, um, because I got a feeling, and this is, I got a feeling, and this is going back to. Um, Attack on Titan Before the Fall, because I got a feeling that if one of the characters from Attack on Titan Before the Fall becomes a Titan Shifter, like, we're gonna probably see him in Attack on Titan at some point in time. So, anyway, oh, and before I forget, there is, oops, sorry, Levi, because I do have Levi here, I gotta mention this too. There is another spin-off series I recommend you nerd against reading, I discovered it randomly. It is called um, Attack on Titan, Birth of Levi. You need to go read it, it's only about eight chapters, and it is a ongoing series, and I will be covering it on Nerdigans Inc. as well. So make sure you guys go check it out, it is really, really good. I love it. Levi is such a sneaky little shit. I love you, Levi. I really, really do. Anyway, let's get to this chapter. So by the time I noticed, it was already too late. Listen up, Zeke. You were born for the sake of leading us Eldians as, as the king. So Zeke is the Titan King. Zeke is the king. So Zeke is going to be... Oh my god. So is Zeke going to be the one that we're going to face? Everything that um, the Marley have said is false. But now you uh, must obey the Marley government's teachings more than anyone else. Zeke, we have no choice but to win. You have to lead the Eldians in the cleansing of our shame. I should have known what a deep sin it is to force um, your own views upon your children. Uh, mm, I understand. Why didn't I learn my own lesson? Other than the heir of royal blood and the hope of the Eldian clan. Did I care about Zeke himself? No matter what, in Zeke's eyes, I am just a father who put his own flesh and blood in danger. He chose to report his stupid parents to the Marley. You know what? I don't blame Zeke. Zeke's just like, you guys are fucking putting pressure on me. Fuck this shit. Screw this. And he received the um, security for himself and his grandparents in exchange. Zeke. Speak, who is the owl? Oh my god! I told you already, none of us know his true identity. That's too bad then. Remove but more. 
I beg of you, uh, please stop. I already told you everything. That oh my god, you can really get Oh my god, this is so gross. Um, the reason, uh, uh, not... Uh, the re- wait, the reason- nothing- nothing else- oh my god, this is so gross. Oh my god, I I'm getting nauseous. Uh, oh my god, I thought that torturing a Tokyo ghoul was- was disgusting and disturbing. Uh, how about it? You discover anything, um, anything more? We have, uh, we have yet to find out the owl's true identity. Wait, owl's true identity? Wait. Wait, is this something out of Tokyo Ghoul? Like, are we gonna find out, like, the One-Eyed King? Is Kaneki gonna show up? Like, shit, man! Like, we're gonna find out the One-Eyed King is here! Like, <laughs> sorry, I had to put the Tokyo Ghoul joke in here. Damn it, this owl is truly dangerous! Um, hidden so deeply within the inner government and forming an Eldian resistance group. Even planning to send spies and infiltrate Marley's warriors that plan to arrive on Parody Island to take the pro progenitor titan's power and render the Marley titan power useless. Um, even using the lure of the progenitor titan power to acquire support from Marley's enemy in the east. If it wasn't for a son serving as, um, as informant, this could have gone quite sour for us. The boat's ready to depart. Let's take you to Utopia. Oh, man. Oh, we're gonna go see Utopia. Like, I, Utopia is gonna be interesting uh, because I got a feeling, and again, I'm gonna reference um, Atta Attack on Titan before the fall. I got a feeling we're gonna go there and before the fall, and I'm betting this is why we're waiting for more chapters because we got the resistance, and for those Nerdigans that haven't read before the fall, um, we got the resistance going on against the government. Um, and before the fall, and, um, that is gonna play, that is pl gonna play a huge part in why there is no resistance in Attack on Titan right now. I had seen that face before. While trapped in the steamboat, I searched my memories for clues desperately. As if, um, my cru uh, as if I could escape my cruel fate, though at any eventual discovery, we're here. Oh my god. This place is, that's right. This is where the past Eldian traders were exiled in uh, the boundary of Parody Island. As you as you have all committed treason, you will receive your life sentences here. You will be turned into mindless titans. You, you will only know to to, uh, to detect humans, pursue humans, and devour, de devour humans. Outside of that, you will be conscious of nothing until death. However, the problem is that after you transform, there is almost no way you will die. I've seen you before. When I was still young, do you still remember what happened on that day? How could I possibly forget? I beg of you, just kill me. I don't want to hurry up and move. I don't want to become a titan. Greece, Grisha, is that you? Hey, what happened? Why would Zeke report us? Hey, why won't you say something? That's your son, isn't it? What kind of upbringing leads, us, leads to a son betraying his parents? The problem stems from you, right? You, you are a piece of trash. That's all talk in the end. You were blind to devote everything to following your ways, from the restorationist movement to Dina. Why won't you speak? I'm sorry. How we were, we were, um, how uh, were we fooled by this guy? Eldia is finished. This one seems quite energetic. You're free. Greece! Below us are sand, um, our sand dunes. Even if you fall from 30 meters, you wouldn't die that easily. Hey, Greece! Run to the north. North. If you're lucky, you might actually reach the walls. Sergeant Klaus, hmm? is this your first time here? Even though Titans can't go near the ocean, um, through this method, those that will transform soon can go after him and be led, aw led away quickly. This increases our efficiency. He'll be eaten pretty fast, right, Kruger? This, this guy. This re, wait, this re is no mistaken, wait, mistakening. This is the official who killed my sister. <gasps> that son of a bitch! This is the guy that killed Grisha's sister! Oh my fucking god! Alright, we have quite a few, a few this time. Let's get on with it. Everyone! <gasps> oh my god! So they, so this is where we have the Titan Serum. Ah, stop! Ah. 
So these motherfuckers turn people into titans. Everyone, please stop. My brothers, please stop. That's Grace, can't you tell? Oi, Kruger, turn him into a titan already. He's so loud and irritating. No, I still have to interrogate this guy more. You guys keep going. Fine, fine, don't put too much heart into your work. Oh, the next one is a, is, is a woman? What a waste. If only she didn't have the devil's blood running through her. Dina, my dearest. How come she is here? Don't uh, don't you understand what I said? I I already told you everything I knew. I knew. Even to you, Marley, she's important, right? She inherited royal blood. Oh man, this shit is so fucked up. Oh my fucking god. Huh? Shut up. Why? I already told his subordinate. Unless he kept that back to himself. What's the matter? I can't listen to any more of of, the, of his shit. Just keep going. Seriously, just shut him up and turn him into a titan already. Oof. Grisha, it, it doesn't matter what I become because I'll still find you. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Go find some romance as titans. Ah. Oh my god! Oh. Huh. This is... I, why? Aaron... Oh my god, we're back! Okay, we're back! We're back, we're back, we're back! We're back. We're back to modern times. Oh my fucking god! This is so crazy! So, we found out about the Titan Serum. So the Marley will turn them into Titans! Like, wow! Holy shit! Hold on a second. I gotta check something here. So Aaron... So was this all Aaron's dream? Was this all Aaron's dream? Uh, like, cause Aaron just is waking up from this. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? You gotta wonder how the Marley had this technology. So this is the, okay, so I think I understand. This is the original wall. This is the original wall. And these motherfuckers were the ones that produced the serum and turned, them up, turned these people into titans. And th this is the origin of the titans. I totally understand that shit. This is just freaking disturbing. So, these titans have been around for thousands of years. These are the same exact fucking titans. So, I'm wondering, and I'm curious what you nerdigans think of this. While well, I switch, while well, I'm gonna switch. Do you guys think, by the end of Attack on Titan, like I think is gonna happen. Do you th guys think by the, uh, by the end of Attack on Titan... If Levi's gonna cooperate with me here, Levi, peace up. Do you think by the end of Attack on Titan that they're gonna turn back any humans? I think that's gonna be the goal, the end goal. They're gonna turn uh, turn everyone back into humans because right now, um, they, it says even says here they can't die, and Titans can't go near the ocean. Oh no, this isn't the orig original walls. I'm sorry. I thought this was the original walls. It says here that, um, it says that they might actually reach the walls. That's what Guy says. If you run, Sergeant Klaus says, run to the north, you might actually reach the walls. So, I think what the original thing is, they're, I think if um, the Marley is still around, if the Marley are still around, like I think they might be, unless the Titans killed those, had their revenge on those motherfuckers, they're gonna, they're gonna die. We're gonna go after those motherfuckers. They're gonna go after those motherfuckers. I don't know if the Marley are still around, but they're gonna go after those motherfuckers and get revenge. That's what I think is gonna happen.
This is fucking crazy! This is just fucking crazy! What the shit is going- This is just fucking crazy! But I think it has something to do with the type of blood they have, too. I don't think- I just got a feeling not everyone can turn into a titan. I'm sorry I'm a little sick. So, just roll with this. I just, like, I just feel so bad for Grisha and Dina. Oh, I just feel so bad for them. Okay, so now let's get back to Aaron in the present time. And Aaron wakes up for this nightmare and he's crying. There's my baby! <laughs> There's my baby! There's my Armin! There's my baby! There's my baby! Oh, my baby! This is, I, why? Aaron, calm down. This is a, the disciplinary chamber, a chamber. Uh, you and Mikasa are serving time here due to violating military policies. Wait, what? What is it, Aaron? Uh, did you have a nightmare? Yes, uh, it seems so. Just now, did you see a, uh, a formal? Um, when referring to your, when referring to yourself? Uh, you did say it. Aaron, are you crying? I feel like I just had an incredibly long dream, but it isn't a dream. It's a memory. As expected, what was written in those books is the truth. Now, my father's memories are linked to me. That Titan. It was you. Dina. Huh. She never um, even paid attention to you. She just chased after Greece. She was probably um, attracted to him. Huh. Shut up. What did you say? It was you, right? Fifteen years ago, you fed my sisters to the dogs. She fed, you fed my eight-year-old sister to the dogs. It was you, right? Is he the last one? Yes. All right, leave him to me. All of you return to the first, uh, to the boat first. Understood. What's going on? It's the sergeant's personal fun time, newbie. Mind your own business. But even though it's an Eldian uh, doing that to an eight-year-old girl, it is still... Are you done, Kruger? Well, let's let him perform for us. Perform? I remember uh, now, young man. I won't turn you into a titan. I'll have him eat you instead. I'll turn him into a three, four meter titan. Uh, you can battle it out with him. The longer you resist, the better. Why would you do this? Why, well, of course, it's more entertaining this way. The idea of monsters devouring humans is quite in, um, interesting, even though there are um, people who don't enjoy seeing it. But by nat human nature, we want to witness uh, violent, cruel scenes. Case in point, there have been decades of peace after our liberation from the Eldians, no? Excuse me. Even though this is a good um, thing, we still feel like uh, something is missing, right? That, th that feeling is called the thrill of existence, and it has um, become thin, uh, thin as of late. I don't know how many people lived, uh, their, um, lived their lives... Wait. Yeah, live their lives wondering if they might uh, die today. Um, but that's the natural mindset of any creature. So, I'm curious. Before I continue with this, so do you think, um, Armin, uh, sorry, my voice is cracking a little bit. Do you think that Armin and Aaron, well, obviously Aaron has the Eldian blood running in them, uh, and him. I think Armin might have the Eldian blood running it through him too, because we saw El we saw um and uh, someone that looked like Armin's ancestor there. That would be so fucking trippy if Armin if we found Armin's uh, ancestor as a Titan. That would be so fucking trippy. Oh my god. Um, uh, let's see. Here we go. But that's the natural mindset of any creature. Those who envision a peaceful society as normal are the abnormal ones. I'm not like them. Everyone will die, but I'm mentally prepared for my end at all times. Because just like now, I've always faced the truth of this um, cruel world head on, and I understand it quite deeply. Enjoying it all while, uh, while educating myself is important. Ah, yes, feeding your sister to my son's uh, dogs was an education for them. And thanks to you, my sons have excelled in life. God, that asshole! Does your heart not ache? I know what you're trying to say. If I imagine my son suffering the same fate, my heart would tighten up. It's not as if, um, 
the kid did anything unforgivable. She dreamed of writing it, uh, of writing it to faraway places. What a shame. If only she wasn't an Eldion. Huh? Look at that guy carefully. That's your true form. Once you absorb a titan spinal fluid into your body, into your bodies, you will turn into giant monsters. You want to argue that you're the same kind of human as us? God, like, this is the same kind of shit as Tokyo Ghoul. I, I gotta say it right now. This is the same kind of discrimination as Tokyo Ghoul. I gotta say it. This is, because if you think about it, you have the same kind of thing going on with the CCG uh, slash the humans and the ghouls. It just really reminds me of it. Because because ghouls have that nature of eating humans, that um, because they're different, aka they're different, they get discriminated. And and I kind of like that Attack on Titan has, and Tokyo Ghoul have that kind of themes, a kind of theme of racism in it. Because you because you're different, you get discriminated against. And I like that kind of and um you know who else has that theme in it? Because I'm binge reading it, I gotta mention it. One piece has that theme. I mean I just finished the um uh, Fishman arc. Uh Fishman Island arc. Fishman Island has the same Fishman Island arc has the same kind of theme. Just because they were different, because they weren't human, they have the they were discriminated against. They were enslaved by humanity. It's the same kind of discrimination that the type that um, the Aldeons are going through. It's just I like I like that we're getting the same kind of feel. And you know, again, I'm gonna uh, I'll say the same thing. It, this is just something that's been going on through for thousands of years. Like Jews, for another example, Jews get discriminated against by. Um, we've been discriminated against for thousands of years by several t types of people. Like, we got discriminated by, against by the Romans. We got discriminated against by Christians. We got discriminated, we've been getting discriminated still by Muslims. We've been, we get discriminated against by everybody because we're different. And that's just how society is. That is just part of human nature. If you're different, you're going to get, dis by, uh, if you're different from somebody, um, depending on human na on how the person is, and it's just, you get discriminated against. It's just part of human nature, because people are scared of someone that is different than them. And I like that Attack on Titan and, like, One Piece and, like, Tokyo Ghoul, it touches upon that theme. Because, and... It, because it is really important to touch upon themes like that. It's important to t go outside that box in a different way. It's just really, it really is. Let's see. Let's see. A tighten spinal fluid into your bodies. Um, wait. Once you absorb a tightened spinal fluid into your bodies, you will turn into giant monsters. You want to argue that you're the same kind of human as us? And that goes to beg the question, and I have to ask, because Armin can do it. No, oh, Armin, my little cute. And Aaron can do it. And I gotta ask the question, is it only the Eldeons can do it? Or is it any human can do it? Like, I got a feeling if, um, oh my god. If, uh, uh, Erwin did it, would he would have been able, would, was he part Eldeon? Would he have been able to do it? Because, like, I, I don't think he, I, and I, I'm going to leave that question out there for you nerdigans to answer in the comment section. Because I think you would have had, you would have to have, and I think, um, this guy presents a good point that if you, unless you uh, have Eldeon in your blood, you wouldn't be able to transform. And I have to beg the question, do you think Mikasa could have done, can do it? I don't think she can. Here we go. You want to argue that you're the same kind of humans as us, other than descendants of Amir, and and some and I think it was Chibi reviews, and I think Forever World brought this too. Amir, she might be Amir. We don't know much about Amir. Amir could be that part. She could she could be the original um, Titan from the Eldeon Empire. Like, we, or she could be, like, the original descendant of Amir, because, remember, a court, a court, um, Titans, like, apparently Titans are freaking immortal. But anyway, other than, uh, you descendants of Amir from the Eldeon Empire, no one else is like this. To allow so many of you monsters covered in human skin to grow in number is a nightmare in itself. 
though things um, are peaceful now, even when we assume we have been free from Eldion rule, there are sly rats like you who continue to surface. Do you understand? To completely eradicate um, Eldions from this world is the wish of humanity. And again, I got to bring up this question. I know this video is running long, but I got to bring up this question. Do, do you think the Titan worshippers in Attack on Titan before the fall, do you think they know about the uh, about um, them being Eldions? Do you think that they worship them because of the Eldion ancestry? I'm curious about that. I think we're going to find this out in Attack on Titan before the fall at some point. What did you say? If you leave rats in your household alone, you might be infected with the disease sooner or later. So the de desire to eliminate them is natural. God, I feel like this is something out of Tokyo Ghoul. You ask whether my heart would ache? How can it possibly hurt? Don't look at me like I'm a murderer. You are the murderers, um, no, um, eh. You are the murderers, no? How are you, um... Restorationist uh, planning to um, oppose us, Marley. Weren't you planning to walk the old path of the Eldions? Wouldn't your heart ache? False. The history you learned is false. I know the truth. Our ancestor Amir used her titan power to cultivate barren lands, construct roads, build bridges. She allowed humanity to live and prosper. The Marley twisted history. Hmm, I see. You have a glorious history, right? Then go chat about it with your brother down there. Stop. Quit struggling already. I've been um, waiting to see you get devoured. Don't let the way you get chewed up look boring, all right? Let me see a brand new way of eating. You bastard, what kind of joke are you playing at? Don't be angry. Um, didn't I say, say that some um, entertainment is necessary at times? You think you, you have to think about it uh, think about it a bit harder. See, your sister is calling your name. You damn lunatic. Is this entertaining for you? You, you are. I'm the owl. I'm born. He's the owl. What? Did Sergeant Klaus um uh, fall down? Remember well, Grisha. This is how you use uh, Titan. Uh, use the Titan's power. Oh my God! <gasps> Anger, sadness, and hatred gush out all at once. Wow! Holy shit! Oh man! So that's how we learned how to use his Titan power. Oh, it was from the owl! Damn, owl! You kicked so much fucking ass! Was that Zeke? No, that wasn't Zeke. That wasn't Zeke. No way. But that was so fucking cool! I love that the owl was in disguise, and Karma is a fucking bitch, you asshole, Sergeant Klaus. Fuck you, Klaus. But, damn, that shit was crazy. What well, else? I gotta ask, where the fuck is Levi? And, because Armin is not in jail, by the way. Notice that Armin is not in jail. You're not in jail, my sweet baby. I, I noticed this. My sweet baby is not in jail. My sweet baby is not in jail. I think um, the military police slash the gang don't know that um, Armin has had Titan Serum. Armin, you probably kept your mouth shut. I'm guessing you kept your mouth shut. So you're not, t so they don't know you're a Titan yet. Um, also, where the fuck is, uh, I, I, Levi's probably negotiating their release, but Damn, this chapter was amazing of Attack on Titan. We found out who Owl was. We found out, um, like, how, uh, we found out how the Titans came to be. Um, we found out how fucked up the Marley were. I, I gotta say, the Marley, to me, remind me of the Nazis. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but the Nazis, they remind me of the Nazis. And then we have, like, some Tokyo Ghoul inspirations with the Owl. <laughs> That's just me. But anyway, I can't wait to talk about this chapter with you guys this weekend. This is going to be a really, really fun uh, Manga Nerdigan podcast because we're going to be talking about Attack on Titan. We're going to be talking about um, Awari no Seraph, aka Seraph at the end. We're going to be talking about Comic Akira, which was a fantastic chapter this week, or I should say this month. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this chapter. What do you think about the whole thing with the Eldeons? Like, 
Do you, and the other question I gotta leave you with, and hopefully um, we're gonna talk about, we're definitely talking about it this weekend, is do you think, like, in order for the Titan Serum to work, that, um, and this is why I don't think, I don't think Erwin could have used it unless he had um, Eldeon blood in it, uh, and running through his veins, is that, do you think the Titan Serum only works on those with Eldeon blood? I think that's the only way for it to work. I'm curious about that. And do you think the ultimate end game is to cha is to take back, um, is to, is to go to the island? Because I got a feeling that's what it is. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to um, support the Nerdigans Inc. expansion. There's a couple ways you could do that. You could donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Um, Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twits, aka Twitter. Um, follow my Twitch channel, because I am working on getting Attack on Titan for PS4, so we're, I'm going to stream on Twitch, and also Nerdigans, my Nerdigans YouTube channel. Um, also, um, make sure you friend me on PlayStation Network as well, because we're going to do some multiplayer awesomeness. And until next time, and everything's in the description box below, anyway, by the way. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!